Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. I'm your host Lollipop081 here today in this episode. We're continuing with more Romanov uh, royalty but this time we have one of the first queens of Greece in the modern era as I like to say. This is Olga Konstantinovna and yeah I know it sounds like uh, Lindsay Holiday pronounces it as uh, Constantinovna. Constantinova. I'm like, no, that's not it. It's Constantinovna of Russia. She was a member of the Romanov family. She was the daughter of Konstantin Nikolaevich and his wife Alexandra of Altim- Altenburg. And she was the wife of King George I of Greece, who was the second oldest son of King Christian IX, the father-in-law of Europe. So, really, uh, before I continue, here's the uh, reference pic. I referenced a pic of her when she was about um, 16. So, 16, uh, 1847, 1867, sorry, excuse me. She... Around the time she turned 16 when she married George. And although she fell in love with George, she was very reluctant to leave Russia. And her father was also reluctant. But her mother was more enthusiastic. So they did get married and she moved to Greece and she did not enjoy it. And this is coming directly from the des- her descendants. The former king of Greece and her, uh, one of her grandsons. Uh, the things that she brought with her to Greece, aside from her clothes, were her dolls and stuffed animals. And straight out of um, Prince Michael of Greece, he states that there was this one ball, there was a grand ball, and Olga was not there. And everyone was looking all over for her in the palace. And then they find her under the stairs. Um, holding her dolls and teddy bears, playing with them, and crying because she wanted to be a little girl and live her childhood and not wanted to be queen. So that was, it's pretty sad. But aside from all that, she and George did have a loving relationship and they did have seven surviving children, including Constantine I, who would marry, uh... Victoria the Princess Royal's uh, daughter, uh, Sophie, and Andrew, who was the father of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, who is like 99. Longevity rules. So, most notably, Olga was involved in social and charitable works, and she founded hospitals, schools, but when she tried to introduce a new Greek translation of the gospel, it sparked a lot of riots. It sparked riots. She would return to Russia during, uh, after her, um, only after her husband was assassinated and she was widowed. The Danish embassy had to rescue her during the Russian Revolution. She acted as regent until her oldest son Constantine was restored and she would spend her final years in the UK, France, and Italy, and even the location of her death is very much speculated. And another, th- and by the way, if you guys are wondering, yeah, I know, I have a little bit of a cold, but anyways, uh, that's why my voice sounds a little weird. So anyways, uh, there's a lot more, I want to add one more thing here. She was made to feel welcome by Alex- Princess Al- Alexandra and Princess Dalmar. By the way, so anyways, the final piece is up on my Deviant Art page at lollipop one mle Also, my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit are also down there. Same handle. And please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications as I post videos like this every Fridays and Saturdays. I'll see you next time.